This weekend, McMurray University is going to have their summer theater season with their summer musical, the classic Rodgers and Hammerstein Carousel. Now, it's not just for entertainment, though. This show actually has a mission and a purpose, and the theater partnering with the NOAA Project. So here with us now is Carrie Goff and Jan Morrison. Welcome, both of you, today. Thanks for joining us. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Wrapping up the summer theater program at McMurray with a big musical by Rodgers and Hammerstein, the second one, 1945, Carousel. We all think, oh, that sounds like such a great show. And, you know, we think of a carousel, and it's more so it's a bumpy ride. <laughs> it is. I mean, it has those great songs like June is Busting Out All yes. Over, Mr. Snow, If I Loved You, but its theme covers domestic violence. Yes. And that's kind of an ambitious topic to tackle even today, but 1945. <laughs> and so that's why I called Jan from NOAA Project, because I felt we needed her help to help tell this story. All right, so Jan, we're talking about domestic violence and of course, Carrie tackling this with a cast of 35. This is no small feat. Um, of course, we're worried about COVID and we all will be practicing social distancing and, and the option to wear masks at the theater. But the NOAA project over the course of the last year and a half had, had to, certainly had to adapt to their callers and to the people that they serve. That's right, we've made a lot of changes to accommodate the rise in phone calls, the rise in virtual visits, the rise in outreach clients, because unfortunately people are stuck at home and they can't get out safely, so they haven't been able to come into the shelter and seek safety. You know, this has been, even in the best of, this, of times and in the best case scenarios, you know, whether you're out of toilet paper at the grocery store or, you know, or you're out of work or you're out of a daycare or you're, whatever it is you could be out of or you're having to deal with at the time, it's, it's added stresses to all of our lives in some capacity. And for those that are at home facing issues of domestic violence, whether they have someone who's no longer employed and that mm -hmm. just exacerbates the problem and then they're both at home and they don't necessarily mm -hmm. feel safe to get to the shelter. That's right. That's exactly what's been happening. Most of us, we've been worried about um, getting out of our pajamas every day and making sure we're presentable for a Zoom meeting. But imagine if the place that you call home is actually the most dangerous place in your life. Yeah. And how scared you would be on a daily basis. Not to mention all of the other things that they're facing without childcare, without work, and so on right. and so forth. So you guys are tackling this together. Mm -hmm. and, and I am thrilled that this is a, a partnership. This is like a match made in heaven with a great show, mm -hmm. even though it's tackling the hard stuff. How, how was that for you, having to take that on? I mean, like you said, most people don't, w won't do Carousel because of the underlying message. I wanted to tack, I, I worked in Fredericksburg for many years running theater, and it was on the to-do list but it wasn't a subject that wanted to be tackled by my board at the time and by some donors. They just said, let's just not do that. I knew with being at McMurray and with the university and academic structure, they were gonna support it hands down and they have completely supported the undertaking of producing something that has a difficult theme. And I love working with other members in the community. I wanna build awareness where I can and how there are organizations like NOAA Project that can help folks in the community and maybe our theater audience doesn't even know about NOAA Project. They will now. So on August 6th and 7th after the curtain call, after yes. the production immediately following, we'll have a talk back. We're unpacking the themes with counselors from NOAA Project and then obviously discussing what they do to help our community. And Carousel, I think, drives people to want to come because they remember Mr. Snow sure. and June is busting all over and If I Loved You and they may forget about the overall theme. We're also making a point in our staging and representation that Julie Jordan perseveres. It's her story, not b necessarily Billy Bigelow's story. It's right. her story. So. What a great turn and twist of events and, and, what, and what a great way to really um, bring more awareness to what they're offering and to a topic that so many people struggle with and have to face, especially in the last year and a half, even more so. Absolutely. My hat is off to both of you, wishing you the best performance this weekend as you open, directing and starring on stage. So congratulations to you and your show. Thank you. Jen, thanks for joining us as well with the NOAA Project and, and the mission and the purpose that you serve is so greatly needed and we're grateful that you're here in the big country. So Thank we want you. everyone to come out and see this show and support both of these causes, all right? Live Definitely. theater, we love it, and we love having a, a, an organization like the NOAA Project available.
So if you all would like to see Carousel, it will be at McMurray Theater. That is at the Radford Auditorium. The show is this weekend only. Now performances begin at 7.30 on Thursday through Saturday, and there is a Sunday matinee at 2. That's four opportunities to see it, and like you heard, after Friday and Saturday, they will be having an open discussion about the themes of the show. Tickets are $15 for general admission, $12 for military seniors and children and students, $5 for McMurray faculty, staff, and students. You can get those tickets by calling 793-3889. They're on your screen or go to mcm.edu slash theater.